Hi guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my video of how to install Windows 10 technical preview as well as I'll show you how to dual boot your system with it. So uh, first thing to note that Windows 10 technical preview will wipe out everything um, on your computer. So if you're going to do this, either basically partition a drive and install it there, so install on a separate drive, install it on a separate system, uh, but do not use this as an upgrade. It's, it's going to wipe out everything else, so please do not do that. So the, the tools you need, you need of course an I, um, um, ISO copy of Windows 10 Technical Preview. Uh, of course, for either 64 32-bit 32 32-bit 32 system, you also need the Windows 7 USB slash DVD download toolkit, which I will have the link for this as well as where you can download the Technical Preview. Uh, all you need to do is go to preview.windows.com. This is the page. Sign in with your Windows ID and you can download the Technical Preview. So I've done that and I've also installed the Windows 7 USB slash DVD download tool. I'm going to browse, go to PC here. I saved it in here, and that is the technical preview 64-bit system file. I'm going to open, I'm going to hit next. I'm going to create a USB device, or you can use it to either burn the DVD if you choose to. Do USB device, and let's see. Uh, okay, I have one removable disk. It already shows that there. H drive 29 uh, gigabytes. All you need is actually you need at least eight and an eight gigabyte flash drive for this. Just an eight gigabyte flash drive would be enough, but I'm just using a 29 anyway. I'm going to begin copy. Well, it says not enough free space erased. Uh, sure. Uh, let me just make sure it's actually the right file. Yes, H is the right one. And erase USB. Yes. And creating boot file, so it's going to create the boot file. Uh, file. We're going to use this tool to then eventually uh, install Windows um, 10 uh, Technical Preview. So I'm going to just cut uh, cut through to that point in this video, and it's going to be an off I'm sorry, an off screen video. So I'm actually going to be pointing my camera on the screen so you can actually see that because I can't use Camtasia to basically show you the rest of this video. So let's jump over to that. All right, so I've restarted my computer and you want to go to your boot menu. Now for my computer and, and my build, um, I hit F10 to, to get to the boot menu. Sometimes it's F12, just depending on what your system actually requires from a boot menu. And you actually want to boot from the, the USB drive that you actually use to create um, your, uh, your Windows uh, installation disk, installation drive. So basically I'm just gonna use my uh, keyboard to go down to the Kingston Ultimate G map. That is my Kingston USB flash drive. Hit enter. And that should start booting up Windows 10 uh, technical preview for installation. So let's see what happens. All right, evaluation copy. There we go. So here we are, standard Windows evaluation screen. My mouse works, my uh, keyboard works. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit install. Setting up, starting up setup. So we see how long this process takes. And we should accept that. Hit next. What type of installation? Upgrade, install Windows and keep files. It will not keep any files. This is gonna be a full upgrade. Install Windows only. I'm just gonna do a custom install Windows only. And I am going to scroll down to the petition I had. Um, which basically was a blank drive. Let's see if I can find it. I remember it's a 500 gigabyte drive, so this should be it right here. You can see that one has system. That pretty much was my other, uh, that's my Windows 8 drive there. So you want to pick the other drive or the other petition that is fully empty. So I'm going to click on that, hit next, and go through the whole uh, installation process. I'm just going to let this roll through so you guys can see how long it actually takes um, to install Windows 10. Uh, at some point, if it becomes too long, I might just jump cut. Um, but you're going through the whole process. Now, my system, in terms of you guys wondering what the specs are, it's got a 
um, Core i7. Uh, this is a third gen Haswell uh, processor. You've got an Intel uh, motherboard. I've got uh, a total of 16 gigs of RAM in the system. Um, running a, an AMD uh, 7790, I believe, on this. Side. So it's an older system, but it's pretty much it's still a powerful system. Uh, it's not your base uh, for running Windows 10 technical preview, which of course is just one gig of RAM and a dual core processor um, on there. So um, that's just uh, giving you some of the basis of what system I'm running this on and the fact that almost any system out there can run this. Um, but right now, technical preview will not work on tablets. So uh, just let you know that it's not, this is basically more for desktop users, just in case you were thinking about that. Here you want to select the boot menu again because if you do boot in your system, Windows will most likely go to your original Windows 8 drive in that case. But in this case, I'm going to have to find my other drive, which I believe is P1 here, and boot into that. And that should continue my installation process of Windows 10 technical preview. It's a little bit uh, complicated, but just to let you know. Now, the other ways to do it, you can actually go into your BIOS and already select that partition initially as your primary boot drive. And then once you restart, go um, hit the boot menu button again, F10, whichever one it is, and then start installation again from the USB, uh, USB stick. All right. Choose an operating system. So, uh, I should have actually picked quickly. It probably went to Windows, <laughs> Windows 8.1. I will probably not be surprised if you did that. But uh, basically, you have the option of picking an operating system to choose from to actually start um, for what you're doing. So, let's see. Hopefully, it went straight to uh, technical preview. It probably is technical preview because it's taking its time here and that still has this hasn't finished its uh, setup process. So yeah, it's still setting up technical preview here for us. Um, that is now considered drive, the first drive and the second drive, but that's your boot option. And uh, again, we'll show you, we'll show you at the end of this video, the, the whole boot up process, but uh, it's really easy. Um, right now it's probably taking me about, I'd say 15 minutes or so. Um, which is the whole length of this video or even less probably um uh but it's not it's not a long process here especially if you have a faster system again this all depends on how fast your system is in terms of uh processing power uh so if you have a system that is more powerful then of course it would take a shorter amount of time if you have a system that isn't as powerful then it will take a longer uh, period of time for actually to continue the installation uh, process here for Windows 10 technical preview, or as Microsoft just calls it, Windows technical preview. Um, it's actually actually the name that uh, it, that popped up on the on screen menu. All right, so my system is restarted again. I'm actually going to take my USB flash drive out, make sure you take it out at this point. And um, let's see what happens if we get a selection screen for a boot menu, or if it goes straight to from one to another.
All right, technical preview, select. So you see, once you actually restart your system because Windows, if you have a Windows 8 system uh, um, already or Windows 8.1 system, it will give you the option of dual booting right there off the bat that you can actually select which uh, operating system to boot from. Um, so since I'm still doing the installation process here, it's a little bit longer than it should just from uh, the different processes. So once this is actually done, um, this should actually go all the way uh, through the whole final startup process for Windows 8, uh, sorry, Windows 10 technical preview. For some reason, I want to call it Windows 8. So again, the same procedures of uh, setup you found with Windows 8, or oh, 8.1 uh, is what you have here. Use Express Settings. Next, you set up your account. So you're gonna have to sign in. Now, these are the parts of the whole setup process. It's, it's taking a little longer than it should, but hopefully not too long. All right, so I have to sign in. So I signed in with my account, did the two-step verification. I can copy settings from old Windows. So I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to copy my settings to see if it actually copies. And uh, we'll go do that over. So you can copy our settings over. Um, and of course, you know, if you're signing into a Windows device now, uh, for the first time, you have to do two-step verification, which is nice. And uh, hopefully, let's, uh, let's jump in. It says hi, of course, the whole procedure there. And hopefully, we have Windows uh 10 technical preview all set up All right, so we are in. We are in Windows 8. <laughs> Again, I said Windows 8. We are in Windows 10 technical preview. Uh, everything's loaded. You can see my desktop is there. Um, there are no charms. I'm trying to go to the side. There are no charms at all. And um, here's the start screen. Let's see if this actually works. Oh, start, start button, sorry. I said start screen. Ah. Razer, um, yeah, wow, cool. So I have a Razer keyboard, I have a Black Widow keyboard, it imported that and it asked me to install some of that stuff. So let's see if that actually works. Right now it's feeling a little slow, don't know why. Maybe it's still installing a few things. But let's see what we have here. So we have Welcome to Technical Preview. Um, of course, we have, uh, it's basically just a link to the page. And let's see what we can do here. We can't actually do anything yet. Interesting, okay. So I have my AMD Catalyst Center, which is already installed. So it did install a couple of things. So I have AMD graphics card that's actually there. And this is evaluation copy uh, build 9841. Um, I cannot click on my start menu. Can't click on anything down here. Oh, that is very interesting. Control Alt Delete. See what happens. Nothing so far. So, <laughs> um, all right, there we have it. We have our task manager. I can switch. Let's see, see, see what happens. So we do have our still basic start task manager running. My <laughs> start button isn't working and my start menu button isn't working my search button isn't working and of course the new task menu button isn't working none of the applications here are clickable for some reason i do not know why um i don't know how i'm actually going to turn off my system here uh but that is it i mean it's installed and uh, again the, these are the problems you face of course running technical preview 
I'll hash it out, but that's how to actually install a technical preview, Windows uh, 10 technical preview. Just to show you again, you can see here, I'm just gonna zoom into the lower left-hand corner here. And, um, okay, so that is installed. Let's restart now, let's restart the system. Let's see what happens, if we can actually do that. Maybe we just need to do one more restart so this thing actually works properly uh, altogether. But you see the growing pains you get in uh, running technical preview or software like this. It's not finished software. You're going to have lots of issues. So if you're using that as an upgrade to your system, then you're probably going to have um, issues you know, running your system. You want to have that. The cool thing is that it did transfer a lot of my settings. So for instance, like I said, I had AMD graphics card it already installed my AMD Catalyst drivers in there, which is great. And I had no GPU, at least issues there whatsoever. Um, also installed, also uh, prompted me to install uh, Razer, Razer Snap software because I have a Razer keyboard. Didn't prompt me for my SteelSeries mouse. So we'll see if, um, if that will actually pop up at some point. And again, this is just showing you the dual boot process here. It should prompt me to dual boot, yes. So this is how you dual boot is you don't have to do anything. It will actually prompt you to dual boot on its own because it recognizes the two operating systems on there. Technical preview as well as Windows 8.1. So there's nothing you have to do in, do in dual booting other than the fact that you just need to restart your system and uh, you can switch between operating systems. If you're running Windows 8.1 or Windows 7, whichever operating system you're running in the Windows family, and then, of course, uh, uh, you can switch over to technical preview. So there we have it. It's also uh, transferred my wallpaper. There we go. Sign in. And it looks like also transfer, I mean, since I'm signing in, it transferred all my drivers uh, for uh, the uh, Ethernet connection, things like that. Although now it's taking its sweet time to sign in. So um, there you have it. It does dual boot. Um, installation is pretty easy and basic. It also will transfer your settings over um, and you should be able to use the system again. It looks like it's running slow. Um, just from my own viewpoint here, hopefully that is not the case. Those applications have disappeared. It's still loading up, so we'll see if we can actually use this. But once we get it all set up and running, we will give you our full demo of Windows 10 Technical Preview. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know about how to install Windows 10 Technical Preview. Um, if you're having any issues, put it down. Maybe we can help you out with it. Um, I'm sure people are installing the Technical Preview as we go along. Oh, there we have it. So it's running slow. Um, it really is buggy, I don't know why. Um, but you can see there, that is technical preview. Um, you know, you can go ahead and uh, you, you can customize it. So you have, of course, your, your traditional start, start screen buttons here. You can have your, your Metro apps or your, uh, what you call them again, your modern UI applications here. And you can actually, um, I'm told you can actually expand it out whichever way you want. So you can go to the store and the store will open up here. I can resize that and do things like that. So we'll go through that, we'll install software, we'll give you some screen captures of this, showing you how technical preview actually looks, feels and functions. And then uh, we'll be able to give you some more details of the software itself and, um, and how it actually functions on a regular basis. So I'm gonna be installing all my applications I'll be running some things. I'll try and create multiple desktops, things like that, add a desktop. Um, so I'll try and do all that kind of stuff and um, we'll let you guys know how everything runs. So until then, uh, leave your thoughts and questions and this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.